Welcome back. You're tuned in to Ship Shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. What you're looking at is a 100-foot-long mast. Hey, welcome back. We're now in Key West, Florida, and we have the thrill of having my very good friend, J.B. Crow, on the program. Hello, J.B. Hi, how are you? Very well. J.B. owns a company called Maz Epoxy. And JB, we have been building a hard top today. We've already shown vacuum bagging, mm -hmm. all right? But you're a real expert in composites, okay? And you teach people a technology called resin infusion. We've never shown this before on the program. But the boat that we're standing on, there are parts that are not only bagged, but there, there are also parts that are resin infused, okay? And I want to real quick introduce the boat to everybody. Yeah. This was first launched in 2000. And it's a 67-foot catamaran-style boat. It's built by a company right here in Key West called Multi-Hall Technologies. And they make a lot of these different crafts for charters and all that. Uh, it carries about 125 people. And the decks need to be very, very strong. And I want to kind of show everybody the process of building a resin-infused part. And I know that they have deck beams that are resin-infused. But, but where do you bag a part and, and where do you use resin infusion? Well, when you have core materials, it's fine to vacuum bag. So it's normally when we're just using fabric and no core that we'll do an infused part. We want the part to be consistent and we want it to be the strongest part that we could possibly make. Okay, now they have a community college down here. It's called the Keys Community College. And they have a very big program to get children and kids into the marine industry, which is a very lucrative industry. They teach laminating processes. They do, you know, mechanics. They do a lot of stuff for the marine industry, which is very, very cool. And they were gracious enough back at the school to actually let us infuse a part. Where does this begin? Again, this is a deck beam for a catamaran style boat to carry the weight of these passengers, okay, on the deck. Where does it begin with the mold? Well, first we're going to start with an aluminum mold, and then we're going to use a mold release agent in the mold so the part will come out when it's cured. We're going to use peel ply. We're going to put a biaxial, about 18 ounce fabric glass in the mold. Okay, this is fiberglass. That's this fiberglass. 18 ounce fabric. That's right. Then we're going to put carbon fiber, unidirectional carbon fiber, so all the fibers are going in one direction. Okay, and there's a lot of technology in these composites. This, the, the carbon fiber element is what's going to give us the strength in this beam. Yep. Okay. Yep. Do, do we have any more fiberglass going on? We're going to put another layer of an 18 ounce biaxial fabric. And then we're going to put a medium in there, a flow medium in there, so that the resin can move through the part as we're sucking the air out of it. And we're going to have a bag over the whole thing. And the bag is just like the bag that you worked with on the, the vacuum bag part um, up at American. So, so this is kind of like vacuum bagging, but taking it to the next level. Right. And, and when you don't have core material, it, it's for a solid part. Right. Now, now, JB, your company makes epoxy resins, and this is what you generally use when you're talking about a resin-infused part. But you guys actually make a special type of resin for infusion. Can you tell us a little bit about sure. it? Sure. We design specialty resins for infusion because infusion resins have to be very low in viscosity, very thin, so they can flow through that, that fabric. Um, and then, of course, we control the cure cycle of it because here we are in Key West and, in, you know, it's pretty hot here. So we use a slower hardener that we designed for here. And if we were in Portland, Maine or out in the northwest in Seattle, we'd make a faster hardener for those guys to work with. But we customize it because we have to have that thinner resin to flow through the fabric. Okay. We turn on a vacuum, we draw a vacuum, all the air escapes out, and we're drawing in the resin, and little by little, every piece of glass, every piece of carbon fiber gets wetted out perfectly. And again, one of the advantages of a resin infused part is you have the same weight part, you have the same strength part with no air voids, and that means strength, and you get that every time. And not only boat builders are using this technique, but people are doing this more and more at home. Yeah. JB, we need to thank you so much for all that you're doing for the marine industry. This is Thanks, great. John. Hey, we're it right after this. <laughs>